wide, zone, center fix, spot, expand spot, and tracking. These are the six autofocus area settings you have on your Sony a7 IV and a few other Sony Alpha cameras. In this video, I'll break these down for you so that you know exactly which ones to use at the right time. Let's get into it. A couple of things to note. First up, I'm screen recording all of my videos so that you can see exactly what the camera sees. So when I move from one autofocus area to another, it'll be easier for you to figure out which one's which. And the second is I've set the autofocus mode on this camera to AFC, that's autofocus continuous. And what this means is that as long as I've kept the shutter half pressed, the camera is gonna continuously focus. That's it. First up is wide. As the name suggests, it covers pretty much the entire screen and automatically picks the subject. The subject can be anywhere on the screen and it'll pick it up. There are two ways to look at this mode. The first one is that it's an automatic easy starter. This is the default one that the camera comes with and it basically covers the entire screen. This means that if you have a single subject that's moving from left to right or is in the center of the screen, the camera is clever enough to pick it up and it's going to focus on that for you. So if it's your first camera, which I highly doubt, but if you use it as a point and shoot, then this mode is pretty straightforward. Now, this isn't how I use this particular mode, right? This is actually really great to use when you have a single subject. Whether it's a human or a dog, it'll pick it up and keep them in focus. And if you're close enough, the incredible eye autofocus will come into play and that is just fantastic. Now, there are some scenarios where I wouldn't recommend using this particular mode. One of them being you having multiple subjects in the frame. Let's say you have four people in the frame, the camera is going to automatically pick the first one, whereas you wanted to really focus on the fourth one. So under that scenario, this really doesn't do you any good and is kind of distracting. So I wouldn't use this particular autofocus area when you have multiple subjects in one frame. Number two is zone. You can think of it like wide, but it's smaller. Um, you can see the white box, that's your zone, which the camera will focus in. You get a slightly smaller focus area versus the wide, and this means that you can actually direct your camera to a particular subject, right? Rather than covering the entire screen, you can now focus on your subject from the right or the left, and the camera is only going to focus within that particular zone. And anything else that's not inside of this square is going to be out of focus, which you can see when I move my subject outside of this box, it doesn't focus on that person anymore. Unlike the wide option, which covers the entire screen, this zone can be moved into nine different positions. So if your subject is in the top left corner, just move this to the top left corner and you're done and you're good to go. Number three is center fix. And this one does exactly what it says on the tin. It focuses <laughs> right in the center and that's it. It doesn't do anything else. Whatever is in the center of the frame is going to be focused on. Now, not sure why they've kind of given this particular option as an autofocus area because what comes next is actually Something similar, but much better. That's right, number four is the flexible spot. This is pretty much identical to the center fix, but the exception is you can actually move this particular spot anywhere you want on the screen. So it doesn't say centered, you can actually, let's say using the joystick, move it to the left or move it to the right. If your subject is on the right, then just move it there and, and you're good to go. This one is actually a staple for a lot of people and it lets you control exactly where the focus goes. If you have two or more subjects in the frame, you can decide exactly which person to focus on and the eye autofocus will kick in for that person and you're ready to go. Whether you're a wedding, street, landscape, or any kind of a photographer really, you've probably used this mode before and you're likely going to use it again. Number five is expand spot. It's pretty much the same as flexible spot, but this mode allows the camera a little bit of flexibility to focus a little outside of the spot. And that's why it's named exactly that. For example, if you're focusing on a fast moving bird, 
you're likely to not have it in the center of your focus spot all the time. In this case, the camera is clever enough to know that you're tracking something and if you move out, it'll keep focus on that subject for you, which is great. The flexibility on the spot and the expanded spot are great, but here's a little trick to make those two stretch a little bit further. I customize my AF on button to the IAF setting. And what this means is that, let's say my expand spot is on the right hand side or my flexible spot is on the right hand side and I'm focusing on a subject, but actually what happens is a person walks in anywhere else in the frame, I can basically press and hold the AF on button, which triggers the IAF, and it's gonna find that person anywhere else in the screen, which it has done here, and focus on them. And then as soon as I let go of that button, it's gonna go back and focus on my spot. So that's a little tip that hopefully will help you squeeze out a little bit more from these two focus area modes. Number six, and the final one is tracking. This one doesn't exist on all the Sony Alpha Line cameras, especially the older ones. So it's slightly new and I love this mode. This is it. This is the one that I use, I would say 80 to 90% of the times. Why? Well, as the name suggests, it tracks your subject and it sticks to it, which is great. This mode can be used in conjunction with any of the previous focusing areas that I've mentioned before. So that's the wide, the zone, the flexible and the center fix and the expand spot. That's right. So you can use tracking with any of these modes, but I would probably recommend that you use it alongside the flexible spot or the expand spot, which is what I'm doing. And what this does is let's say your expand spot is on the right side or is on a subject. As soon as you half press the shutter, it's going to start tracking that object. Whether it's still, whether it's a dog or a human, the camera is clever enough to know exactly what it is and it's gonna to stick to it and it's gonna try and focus on that point for as long as that thing is inside of the frame. And I love it. I use it a lot of the times, uh, especially when I'm taking photos because you never know if it's a human and they're walking from left to right towards me, you know, it's gonna know exactly what it is. And as soon as it's a person, which, sometimes is the case, it'll turn on the eye autofocus automatically. And that's great. I love it. I really do. So that is the last one. That's it. Those are the six autofocus area modes on your Sony a7 IV. Which one of these do you use when you're shooting? Is there a particular one that you really rely on and go back to again and again? If there is, then leave a comment down below. I'd love to find out which one it is that's your favorite. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.